Well, hi to my delicious Scorpios, and welcome to your forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. This is a intuitive channel reading as we expand on the July energies. It is a general reading, so leave, so take what resonates, leave the rest for everyone else. You might want to look at the forecast for your moon rising or Venus to get a bigger picture, and there's a link in the description if you don't know what yours are. All right, we're just going to pull some foundational cards. Hey, if the reading does resonate with you, if you want me to resonate with your energy, you want to claim the reading, throw a comment below. I want to thank you guys for your likes and subscribes. Really appreciate you. All right, so let's look, look at some of these foundational cards that we've got. We have the Queen of Air. The Queen of Air. Now... Look at this card, all right? Take a look. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful, strong. She's got the um, the owl on her shoulder. She's got her own set of wings here, you know, and this is about strong self-esteem. So this is Solaplex Chakra. If you don't know what the chakras are, Google it. All right, there are seven major energy centers. Those are your chakras and self-esteem. First of all, the solar plex chakra, yellow, strong, the sun, your self-esteem, your inner strength. This is how you show the world, hey, baby, I got it. And you do have it, you know. And this is about setting boundaries and, and, and making decisions out of pure knowledge combined with the gut. All right, that's what the solar plex chakra is all about. It's about communication. This is uh, this uh, this card. It's about getting organized, being the wordsmith. So really taking a look at what you're communicating out, especially in the written word, uh, and you know doing doing it justice. You know communicating clearly, clarity of purpose. So really amazing card to have in your foundational cards here. Then we have the three of fire. Okay, we have the three of fire. All right, and I don't know if you can see what I see because there's so many spirits in the room. Can you see the energy when I pull this card up close to the camera? Can you? I can see it. Uh, maybe you guys can. If you can, you know, it's, it kind of looks like the matrix a little bit. All right, so you got the three of fire, and this is about an expansion. You're expanding. Opportunities ex are expanding. The fullness of creativity is at your disposal. Ding, ding, ding. This is about achievement. Right place, right time, path forward, success. Wow. So happy I have Scorpio in my chart. So excited before my third shot of espresso. Okay, maybe I'm excited because of that too. All right, then we also have the four of water. And the four of water is about dreaming. It's about setting and trusting the abundance of opportunities that present themselves. So you may have an opportunity that the door is there. The opportunity is there. You can see it. And you go, well, you know, maybe. Eh. Trust. Oh, my God, trust. Trust that the opportunities that you have in front of you can actually give you that the XXX, fulfillment, uh, satisfaction, abundance, you know, contentment, joy, passion, money. What do you want? All right. Trust that you can have it. All right. Sorry. It wasn't supposed to be a lecture, but that's what spirit is giving me that energy. All right. So let's get some clarification from the smallest deck in the world. I did pre-shuffle these, but let's just do one little quick more shuffle. Oops. Okay. So let's figure out which pile of spirit should I take? Which one? Which one? Mm, this one. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see what we have for you guys. Mm. 
sorry, had to. Gotta wake up. All right, oh, we're starting out with the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Everything is cyclic. Things are coming around in your favor. So uh, in relationships, um, well, this is also about money luck. So let's start with that one because people seem to be, uh, a lot of people that come to this channel are interested in the money luck. So the wheel signifies that, you know, it is a cycle and you are uh, right at the, the beginning of a new cycle is what I'm getting from spirit. So a new cycle for you, which of course is delicious and fabulous now, isn't it? So we're moving forward, you know, we might have some unexpected changes uh, in living for the better. So maybe, um, maybe you had some kind of something happen uh, in, in the home due to some weather catastrophe, you know, or maybe your garage door uh, stopped working or you, you had a leak in the roof or, or a pipe burst, but it was covered and and, and, and so you've gotten the entire system replaced uh, on someone else uh, because of, of uh, some kind of warranty you had, etc. So something on that line, or maybe you're moving to someplace that's bigger, better for you in the long run. As far as relationships are concerned, there might be some revisiting of an old relationship. Now, let me make this very clear. It doesn't mean you're hooking up with your ex. Does not mean that, but you might be revisiting it to get the closure that you need mentally, not physically. Okay, so let me just point that out. Yeah, but as far as and as far as career is concerned, this is about improvements in career and money. All right. Wow. Okay, and you've got the three of cups, and the three of cups is about celebration. It's about finding the joy celebrating through the rest of this month um this is about celebrating it's about abundance coming your way being more carefree lightening up okay wow and we have the ten of cups and the ten of cups celebrating again this is about connecting to those that you care about it's about family it's about celebration it's an expansion um, it's about peace and harmony in your, in your, in your space. It's also one of the most positive cards in the deck and it also indicates prosperity. So we've got a lot of prosperity so far. Shite. And we've got the world card. I said shite. I didn't say the other word. Wowzer. All right. And we have the world and the world is about really success in all aspects of your life. It's about triumph. You know, it's about rewards. So making the home a dream home, if you're working on any kind of home improvement projects and feeling that dream, actually feeling it as you continue moving forward to you with all your little DIYs. You know, this is about happiness, enjoying relationship, especially the relationship to yourself. All right. This is about achieving your goals in business. You know, putting a goal out there and say, okay, I'm stepping forward. I'm taking charge. I'm going to be moving into this. This is the goal I have for this year for this particular project. And actually making headway here. You know? Wow. And we have the Empress. Boom. Shaka laka laka. I know. I'm sorry. I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little punchy. Too many, maybe it's too much espresso. But the, the, the Empress abundance abundance passion joy love oh passion joy um contentment fulfillment money material this is you know so, so in that career in that in that business security happiness money it flowing to you you're the resource full person and you're getting the resources you need to succeed you know and this is also about back to the dream home you're doing the renos you're doing the diys maybe you're moving um everything is is feeling pretty flipping good wow uno mas one more 
you're tending your garden. This is about financial security. Amazing. So what do we got on the bottom of the deck? Temperance. All right. Oh, wow. Okay, let's just leave those two here. All right. I'll put that there. So temperance. So everything is in front of you. You have the ability for opportunities that opens doors to money, to joy, to abundance. It's like, it's not even the trifecta. It's the, whatever the six, six, six tuplet, apla, whatever. You've got every positive card in the deck here. All right. And then you have temperance. Be patient. It's here. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Allow it to open up. Then you'll be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Look back on what you've accomplished and saying, yes, I did well, didn't I? All right, guys, that's all I've got. Thanks again for your likes, your subscribes. We love you. You guys have a great rest of July. We'll see you soon.